welcome to another video i hope everyone is doing well happy new year i really hope that you have enjoyed your holidays so today i am going to be talking a little bit more about the wayne lux laser engraver i have done a video prior to this where i've made a few projects but i really wanted to test out a little bit more and talk about it a bit further So you can get this machine in 2.5, 5 and 10 watts. What I really like about it is that it has a smart camera so you can see what's going on in real time. This is affordable so if you're looking for something you're just starting up I would suggest this laser engraver. It's compact so you don't need much space and it's portable too. I really love that it supports various materials. You have the batch engravings so that really helps with productivity and it's a pretty fast engraver. I also really like the dust box which is super convenient. It also has a lighting system so you can see the engraving throughout the whole time. Now the Wayne Lux does have its own software, it's called the Cartlab X. I have used it a couple of times. I feel like it still needs a bit of tweaking. This is pretty much just released. So you can use Lightburn as another software as it is compatible. Another thing I really like about the Wayne Lux is that it's very safe. This is FDA certified. It's an enclosed design. It actually stops working if the doors are opened and it has two doors on both sides. It's got a built-in ventilation, but you can also add in an external air purifier and you can monitor the laser because it has blue light filtering doors. It also has an internal fire prevention. So these are just a few reasons why I really love the Wayne Lux as I have tested out other laser engravers. So now we're just going to get started. I'm going to put it to test. I'm going to be cutting out some items and engraving and then I'm also going to be making a project. So this is a software Cot Lab X that comes with the Wayne Lux. This is what you'll see when you first load it up. These are all free projects that you can do. They are adding more and there's several pages that you can check out. This is another page, page two for example, and look at that, how gorgeous is that? But if you don't want to use one of these, you can click to start your own creation. So this is the setting we're having for cutting this rabbit out onto some wood. Put it on 2.5 millimeters per second and the max power at 100. So you can see it says ready, we're just going to click start to begin the cutting. And this is how it looks when it's cutting. It's pretty fast. And if you make a mistake and you haven't got the setting quite right, you can click on repeat for it to cut again. So here's the first cut that we've done, the rabbit. So this time we're going to be testing some card and we're going to be cutting this image out on it. There's the card inside. So this was the setting we had on the last cut out on the wood. Now we're just changing it because we're using cardboard to 3.4 and leaving the max power at 100 and because it's cardboard we're going to just have the pass as one so we're starting now and we've turned the purifier on So it's finished cutting on card, it's really intricate, it's quite beautiful. So this is a finished cut, I think this is really nice if you were to make your own cards or if you are a paper crafter. You can also make decorations or something like this, like Christmas decorations, instead of buying. So I've decided to have a go on this now. So I'm going to do an engraving, but I'm also going to cut it on the outside. And then within the label itself, I'm going to have some text written there too. So I'm in Photoshop right now. So I'm just going to write the text in here and just adjust the font a bit. So I've pasted it in to uh, Lightburn now. I'm going to set this to cut the outline and uh, hopefully it comes out well. Okay, so for the line, I've put it as 2.3 on the word. So 2.3 millimeters per second. 
and then on engraving I've put 50 millimeters per second maximum power is 50 percent on the when you're cutting you do 100 percent and the line interval as put as 0.05 millimeters so we'll save that and moment of truth we'll start it now so it says it's going to take four minutes okay so it's cut it and now it's engraving I think it's actually doing what I wanted so it's coming out quite well I can see it you can probably see it coming along there so now that's complete let's have a look at how it's come out there you go made with love there we go perfect it's actually come out really well okay so now I'm going to engrave this design onto some wood we'll see how it goes hopefully it goes well Okay, so I'm going to start this now. And I'll turn the fan back on. Okay, it's going to take it around 50 minutes. And you can already see the scene coming to life there. And uh, it actually looks really, really good. So I'm back to my crafting table now. And this is a finished background. Look at how gorgeous it is. All of the detail on there, it just really shows you what the machine is capable of and what you can expect in terms of the quality. This is just so beautiful. And then we've got the card. It's just done a good job, hasn't it? And then even with smaller items, I mean, look at how small the font is on here, but it still did a good job. And then this is a rabbit that I cut out first. And now I've got a few things that I have cut out as well and I'm going to actually put it together to make a project. So start off with a deep shadow box or a deep frame like this. I don't know where the back has gone. I think I used this in another project so I'm going to have to make deep but that's fine. So I'm just starting up by drawing along the outside because I need to create a background seeing as the wood has disappeared. And then I'm going to be making use of my Christmas night paper pad. Look at how beautiful this one is. So I'm deciding to go with this one. And I'm going to need a little bit more here. That's okay. So I'm going to stick this one down first, just using a glue stick. And you can print something on some paper from your printer and from the internet. So you don't need a pad like mine. And if you want to, if you really want to go elaborate, you can also engrave the background just as I did on that one. I'm sticking it down and then I need to go ahead and take another paper. And I'm just going to mark again how much I need to cut for this one. And these are really awesome crafts to make and sell. So if you do Etsy or craft fairs, it's a really good idea to do things that the shadow boxes I find just do really well, as well as like whimsical, unique things. Okay, now we're ready to cut the background all together. And I've used card on the back just to give it a bit of strength. While I'm at it, I'm just going to take my pliers to remove these, seeing as I don't have the wood or the backing left. Now I'm going to take my frame and add a few drops of hot glue throughout to attach the paper background. I'm going to add a bit of colour to the tree that I've cut out. I'm going to add some white and then maybe some green and blue on the leaves. I like to do this with my acrylic paint pens because it's really quick and easy. And I like the wood to still show through and that's what these pens do. Now I'm going in with some green on the leaves. So this is going to take a while so I'm going to do the rest off camera. Here's the tree all finished, so I need to add a bit of hot glue. I think I'm just going to do that to the trunk. That should be enough. I'm going to slide this right at the bottom, but as far as it goes on the side. I'm also going to add this owl to the branch. I think that's going to look really cute. So 
So I've also cut this fox out and I have gone in with the acrylic marker just to give it this orange colour and I think we'll hot glue him not to the back here so we want to kind of layer it. We can go all the way to the front but I think I'm going to go just in the middle here adding hot glue to his feet. I've also done the same, I've got a moon here and I've just coloured it in silver. I think I'm going to add that right here, it also helps cover the line here where I've added the two bits of background. And then I've also got some small stars, so you can colour these in if you'd like. I think I'm going to leave mine as is, I might add a few more here, but I'm just going to hot glue all of these in. Another thing that you can cut out on the laser machine is some felt. So I've got some pieces of grass as well as flowers and I'm going to stick this at the forefront here. Again, just playing with the layers. So I'm going to add glue on the side and the bottom. And I love this because it's got mixed media. I like using different materials in a piece. I'm taking small snippets of grass, so I've cut them to be individual pieces as well, so I can just space them out a little bit more. You can see how that's really coming together now, we've got three different layers and dimensions going on. Another single blade of grass. I think things like this make wonderful handmade gifts and you can personalise them as well. That's a really good thing about these laser cutting machines. I want to add a little here around the moon. So I'm taking some old makeup, I've got this white glittery one. I'm just going to go over the moon on the sides here. Here's a few more examples of what you can create with a laser engraver. It's really worth the investment in my opinion. And here's the finished project. I really am happy with it. The colours are just so beautiful. This is so, so magical. And you know I love my miniatures. I actually really like wooden embellishments. I've always really liked them to craft with. So I'm so happy that I can actually create my own now. So what's your opinions on this laser engraver? I'd love to know in the comments. And what did you think of the project that we made using the engraver. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.